Goodbye, baby. Hey, y'all. Welcome to my channel. When you're having a challenging hair day or you need to get out of the house really fast, I have a few quick hairstyles for you with the help of my friend Donnie Ray. I'm going to give you ideas for styles that work with long hair and Donnie Ray is going to give you ideas that work for short hair. You may need these hair care items to achieve these styles. Flaxseed gel, bobby pins, a brush, a comb to part with, hair clips, and elastic hair ties. I'm going to start on an old wash and go and show you how to achieve the old fashioned bun, new school tippy top bun. You're going to want to part some of your hair in the front, just a little bit, not a lot. This is what you're going to use to create like a swoop bang in the front. Clip that away so that it doesn't get in the way of what you're going to do to the back of your hair. Pull all of your hair up in the back of your head. Sometimes I bend over to get it really high but I didn't this time. I guess I was just being lazy. Use a hair tie to tie your ponytail at the top of your head. You can see that I'm actually like pulling at my hair a little bit to tighten it up in the back so that it doesn't have like the poofy puff puff in the back of my head. You know what I'm talking about. And I take all of my hair and kind of just like tuck it under, put another twisty tie over that. Voila, I almost have a bun. Some of your hair may come out, some of it may not because all of my hair is not the same length. So yours may do the same thing, but I'm not totally interested in having like the perfect bun. I actually lean more towards a messy bun. So this is something in between. So then you move on to the front of the head and you go ahead and make like your swoop bang this is really easy if you already had your hair parted in the front from your wash and go bobby pin it wherever you feel comfortable bobby pinning it at. this is not exact it's supposed to be quick you know so it doesn't have to be perfect i mean you can notice that i didn't use a lot of gel on my hair once again i'm not you know about that whole i gotta have my hair perfect kind of life it doesn't have to be slicked down when i have more time i do slick my hair down more voila you're ready to go. But if you have shorter hair, then you might want to try this style. Show them how to do it, Donnie Ray. I'm feeling a little spunky. This next style is perfect, especially with a pair of Converse's high tops. Come on now, y'all know how we do. I divide my hair into two large sections. Then I divide those two sections into two more sections. So I have four sections going from the top of my head to the bottom. I pull each section into a ponytail. I like doing this on an old wash and go because my mohawk is extra poofy. Y'all know I'm all about that big hair. Next, I may slick down my edges with a little flaxseed gel and I keep it moving. make ponytails in between the four sections that you already made. That way there's no like big gaps in between your ponytails. And if you're waiting on your tresses to go out, check out Donnie Ray's quick style idea. We hope that this helps. When you're in a pinch and you don't know what to do with your hair, please leave comments and subscribe to my channel. Subscribe to my channel. Okay, okay. okay subscribe, subscribe to, to her channel. Donnie's channel. Subscribe, subscribe to, to both, both of our, our channels. channels. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more collaborations between me and Donnie Ray. Thanks for watching. Peace. But if you want to see a video on how I pack for my hair, click on this video once I upload it.